Okay. Tell me what's going on, my friend. Let me start by getting the engine size, okay? Uh, two point something, two point four, I think. All right, perfect. So what's going on? Every once in a while, this, uh, it decides to lose its uh, uh, all the readings on the uh, panel. The engine panel. Okay. And the way I've, uh, it's been going on for almost a year. So, but most of the time, I just disconnect the engine and I'm not, I mean, disconnect the battery and let it sit for about 20 minutes or something like that. Then I would put it back in there and then it runs. And, but, uh, uh, we've done that about three or four times over the last couple of years. And, but lately, about a month ago, it, it won't, it does reset, but uh, it doesn't last very long anymore. And I'm, I'm kind of suspecting it might be the weather that's doing it to us. I don't know, you know. Right. So are, are you saying that, are you saying that at times it doesn't start? Or are you saying you have to like reset something to get it to no, work man, again? No problem. The uh, car runs and uh, everything's okay, but there's no, no speedometer, no, uh, Temperature is low, uh, the, the gas gauge and everything is uh, completely gone. Okay. So have we checked for codes uh, in the computer? The power run. Huh? Have we checked for diagnostic trouble codes in the computer? Uh, well, I haven't done anything like that. Okay. Well, it sounds to me like we have a bad module on board the vehicle. So there's a ton of different computers, which is which is what I'm referring to as a module. So we need to we need to determine which computer or which module is bad causing this problem. So the body control module, the engine control module, the transmission control module, that you have an electronic power steering control module, brake control module. She did indicate that uh, the last time that she did, uh, she started the car and it was okay until she started the heater. Okay. All right. So when you start the heater, it's it's possible that maybe we have a low voltage condition, and as soon as you turn the heater on, that's when the problem occurs. That's that is possible. Well, we went and uh, my uh, son uh, does work for a uh, mechanic at a dealer place, and he did say that some of my, so we changed out the battery. So that's a brand new battery we just put in. Okay, but that doesn't change my answer, my friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's good to know. I'm thank thanks for telling me. But um, does the battery drain overnight by chance? I don't know. You know, like uh, I don't think so. Okay. All right. So based on my experience, the body control module on this vehicle is very common to go bad, causing you know electrical issues. So we could have a bad body control module. That would be one of the more likely causes. And I think even this power steering control module is pretty common to go bad. Uh, but we could also have a bad fuse box or maybe a bad instrument cluster. So if we haven't even checked for codes in the computer, that's hands down, that's going to be the very first thing that needs to be done. And I would recommend that either you do this or have someone else do this when the problem occurs, you know, when the gauges stop working, that's when we want to make sure that there's communication to the, in, to the, you know, uh, or see if there's a communication problem to these, you know, to, to all of these modules. So run a, uh, I do have a, what do they call those? 2,000 million or something like that. Uh, right, Nostra, I had that. Is, uh, are you talking about a code reader or a scan tool? Yes. Okay. Is well, that ma 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 million, ma million or ma million? Something like that. Okay. So that's going to be your very that's first step. Okay, now, uh, like I said, the only other thing that it does is... Uh, uh, when that happens, there's that little red light that that comes on and it's got lock. I don't know if that's a security or whatever. I think it is a security light. That comes in. Yep, that makes sense. Yep. So it's it's also it's affecting the security module. So that doesn't okay. surprise me. That's also another module on board the vehicle, it's, which be, is being affected, which is affecting the instrument cluster. So it's affecting your gauges. <clears throat> so it sounds about right. If you want to run some tests and check for codes and communication, any codes, <clears throat> I'm sorry, any codes or any communication codes and any communication problems need to be addressed first. So the very first thing we need to do is figure out 
what modules have what codes in the computer and go from there. She's not here. She took the car uh, evening with lots of cages and everything. Yeah, run. Look, I said there's no problem. Uh, only thing to worry about is uh, we haven't had any problem with like trying to get hot or anything like that, so it's been okay. Right. So she's been driving, she's been driving it to work and back. Uh, so I don't know, you know. So I'll go ahead and uh, when uh, when she brings it back, my my son does have a uh, a more sophisticated, I guess you call it. The one that they use in their uh, shop. Yep. A computer, computer one that she that he uses in it, and reads all the different kinds of codes that it will do. Right. So. Yep. So I guess I can have either have him run that and see what kind of code is because right now it's like that again. Uh, this morning when she took off, uh, it, there was no panels anymore uh, again, and so before, like I said, do that and then it will stay off for oh. Sometimes two or three months and no problems, but now it's constant and, and I don't like that, you know, so. Right. That's why I try to figure out there are some that I can see. And uh, then I thought, oh, well, I'll talk to you guys and say, hey, maybe they would be able to give us some answers. Because I kind of like <laughs> going through different things and uh, I should know better that uh, I, 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 th- I haven't thought about the codes and things like that, you know. Right. Uh, do I talk to the same person or how does this work? Yeah, you're just going to reply back to me in, in our chat and then it'll get routed right to me and, and we can go from there. Let me see if I can take my quote, my little, my little scanner and uh, see what kind of alarms are in. I mean, the uh, quotes anyway uh, are in. Okay. And go from there. Go from there. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Good luck. Okay. All right. All right. Bye-bye.